Good evening. Uh, actually, I've gotten a few requests as far as um, what do I need to do to find some old bills and, uh, uh, from the banks and, and stuff. And uh, I have a few examples here of notes that I have found at the bank. It's just as uh, simple as gaining a good relationship with a teller or a bank manager. Okay, so it's real simple. Everything starts out with casual com uh, conversation. Um, you know, you go into a bank, how's your day, so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, you kind of segue into this type of subject. Um, you know, like if you're cashing a check, you know, they're going to say, how would you like this? Well, I'll take 20s. Uh, but do you have any of the old ones? And um, a lot of the tellers you deal with these days are pretty young. You know, they, they're not too familiar with the old small head faces of the notes that you see here. Um, a lot of the notes that I have here will gain you some sort of profit if you decide to sell them in the future. So um, I have samples of a lot of the red seals, blues, uh, some of the light greens. I got a lime in there and a 20. Uh, actually, the lime green 20 uh, I bought at a show, but a lot of the uh, the 10s that you see up here, these 34s, I actually found those at a bank. And they're all like VF condition, really nice stuff. So let's talk about what you need to do. Okay, again, you go into a dealer, you strike up a nice engaging conversation without feeling like uh, you're actually hitting on them. So and importantly, um, you know, it's all about small talk. Hey, how's your day going? Uh, the weather's going to be nice this weekend. Are you going to be doing anything special? Um, you know, what's your favorite restaurant? Oh, wait. Sounds like those type of questions are going into, uh, like, asking someone out on a date. But um, something similar to that. You know, make it fun, witty, very light, casual. And when you, uh, you know, gain that rapport, okay, and there's going to be a several tellers that you're going to try and gain rapport at at different banks, uh, you're going to simply ask, hey, do you have any old bills such as this? And what I like to do is I, I like to keep a couple samples on me. Uh, you know, I keep a 10, I keep a 5. I'm like, hey, you know, a bill is going to look like this. Do you have any? Typically, the tellers will keep a um, like an envelope with a bunch of obsolete or uh, damaged bills. They could just as easily go in there and check and see what they have. Okay. So let's say several months on down the road, you've gained a really good relationship, you've built a rapport, and um, everything's cool, okay? You each know each other by name. Um, you see your favorite teller every Friday, you know, payday, or whatever whatever the scenario turns out or comes out to be. Uh, you're going to feel more and more comfortable asking, hey, do you have some of these old bills? Or they're just going to up and say, hey, you know, I have some old you know, 20s like this with a big old $20 symbol and the different color seals. So, um, yeah, gaining a relationship, building friendship is monumental. It's key. So um, let's take a look at a few bills here that you can find and that I have found. Um, you know, such bills that you see here, if they're in too terrible shape, they are worth exactly face value. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I'm not as naive as I once was two years ago when I did my first video where I thought, hey, this, this bill is rare because, or you should get a star note because, um, the real meat and bones is, you know, find old bills, find them in good shape. Uh, if they come with a star, much like this red seal five right here, all the more better. Um, so let's see, here's a, uh, 1928 funny back. That's like XF. You can see a few creases, folds. I've actually displayed a few of these notes in uh, videos in the past. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with revisiting them. There is a Hawaiian note. You can tell by the, like a brownish, um, burnt orange type uh, ink. That That's what that is. Uh, the the Nationals will look a lot similar, uh, only they don't come in once. They're in 5s, 10s, 20s, 50s, and 100s. So um, those do exist out there for the taking. So there is a standard silver certificate. That one has a low serial number. Well, relatively low. Uh, I always praise you find a low serial number 
anything less than five digits with that row of zeros, very attractive. And it's always nice to get a birth year. So if you have the last four digits as, you know, like 1975, those sell like hotcakes uh, online. So um, if you see them, scoop them up. Uh, there we see a 1928 $5 red seal that can be found out there. Those will sell generally about four times face. Depending on the rarity, you know, the um, actual block, in this case GA, is relatively common for this note. Uh, so, you know, you want to get in deeper into collecting blocks and seeing which ones are rare. There are resources online that can provide that information. There is a green seal 5 that I believe is 1934. There you go. Small head. There is a silver certificate. That one is crisp and circulated. It's got no folds and it's got some immaculate white paper. Okay. And then right there, there is a $5 red star. That one is a 1963 series. Not in too bad a shape. Okay, there is a perfect 1963 red seal. You can tell the paper color between the star note and the one that is actually uncirculated. Okay, so let's go to the very back row here. So I have a set of uh, 1934 tens. Okay, this is an A, and then you got B, C, D, and then you just have the regular 1934. These are all collectible. In this condition, in VF, they'll command anywhere from $15 to $20 in a $10 note. And it could always go higher, again, depending on how rare that block is and if it has a star. And condition is everything. So these are all pretty much the same here. Okay, there's another 10. I believe they're all 34, so you're not going to miss anything. And here is a 1934 Lime Green Seal. These are extremely popular as a collectible. Everybody just likes lime, you know, it's prime time. And then there's a standard, kind of like an evergreen, darker green seal, which is standard for the 1934 A series and up. So, um, yeah, about 50% of these notes I did find in from the tellers. I found quite a few of them that were pretty bad shape. I ended up selling them to a local dealer. He actually, for example, a $5 rag will pay me like $7.50. So I get an extra 250 and he ends up donating them to the uh, local Boy Scouts, which is pretty cool. Uh, so out of all this, I found this Star 5, this uh, 5 right here. I found all the 10s from the tellers. Pretty cool when you can find all of these small notes that are this old still out there. Okay, I, I've heard stories of people coming in with rare gold certificates. Uh, there was once a story um, that I read on one of the coin forum boards that I uh, frequent. A, um, an older lady tried to turn in a, um, what was a $500 gold certificate. Okay, and um, uh, the bank teller that she went and visited, he wouldn't take it. Okay, the thing, it was like in perfect shape. Perfect shape. And uh, that customer ended up leaving. He couldn't help her. And um, this one guy, one of the forum members, actually talked to the teller. And he said, uh, you didn't want that note? That thing is like $20,000 in that condition. And that you should have seen the teller's face. I wish I would have. I wasn't there. But apparently he turned pale blue. So that is how all this works. Um, finding old bills, definitely worthwhile. Uh, if you need a break in the action from all the coin roll hunting, you know, this is definitely a good way to uh, kind of switch up the hobby a little bit, you know, a fresher perspective. So, um, yeah, if you guys have questions, please don't hesitate to um, you know, private message me or just leave a comment. Now, these days, I've been quite busy, softball season, I'm actually an assistant coach, so that's kind of like a second job in my life right now. Um, my daughter's actually in the league, so um, you know I may not get to a lot of your responses, and I know a lot of you have been asking um, and inquiring about coins that you have, collections, so I want to make it perfectly clear that I'm not dodging or avoiding a lot of you, I just don't have the time. Um, in my busy lifestyle 
and I'm going to make every effort. Like the other night, I stayed up till 2 to produce the video on coin roll hunting pennies. And I am all in when I say, hey, I'm going to give you guys a hand with your collections. It might take a little while, but I will be there every step of the way for you. Have a nice evening. Stay tuned for the next video. I think you'll enjoy it. And uh, actually, it's another series in the Cherry Picking Diaries. Okay, that's going to be number two. So uh, stay tuned, and I'll talk to you soon.